Yeah. <laughs> right. Oh, so good morning, good afternoon, or good evening, whenever you're watching this. Uh, my name is Annette Margolis, and I'm an academic English teacher who is on, who's uh, also a mathematics teacher, and I'm on loan to the foundation program at Birmingham University. And this isn't something we do on foundation, but I do like number theory. And with me today as a, a, a willing interlocutor is Father Kenzie from the Catholic Chaplaincy at the University of Birmingham, friend and colleague. Um, I, I believe he's wearing his um, Jesuit hoodie just to show, you know, just to show you. And he's going to talk a little, just a little introduction as to why he's interested in mathematics as well. Thank you, Annette. Um, so I'm Father Kenzie. Uh, I'm a Catholic priest, but um, by, by training, I was originally a computer scientist and I've always had an interest in, in, in mathematics and I, yeah, just, I just find it fascinating, so. <laughs> okay, right, I should, I'm gonna make you a co-host so that if you want to share screen, there we are. If you have a, yes, so a previous incarnation, I don't know whether that's the right word, you were a computer scientist. Now, if we go this, if we go, yeah, and we have the 12 days of Christmas. And uh, I like, this is from Wikipedia, this picture. I don't know where the original picture comes from. I believe it's from the 18th century. It's a nice picture of the 12 days of Christmas. And some unfortunate person has these gifts accumulated, accumulative gifts all through the days of Christmas. Um, I'm Jewish, so perhaps I'm not the best person to talk about this, but it's a fairly sec it's a fairly secular carol in lots of ways, I think. So on the first day, you get a partridge. And then on the second day, the poor recipient re uh, receives is it um two turtle doves and a partridge so they have then they have three gifts so there's a difference of two there and then on the third day uh the recipient has three and i don't know it's not got any colors here it's french hens isn't it mm -hmm. three french hens two turtle doves and a partridge and so you've got six gifts and then if we add another four to that on the next day they get 10 gifts and, and so it carries on. And the days that are interesting to me are day one. And interestingly is day eight mm. because day eight, you get 30, if you add up all the numbers here, you get 36 gifts. So one question could be, how many days will we have to extend Christmas to? Uh, this was the original one after Christmas. I suppose this went to Epiphany. This 12 here went to Epiphany. But how many days would we have to extend Christmas to till you get another square number, square triangular number? And, and the answer is quite a lot, I would say. So I'm gonna do a little bit of mathematics but nothing that you won't re uh, recognize. So we can actually give a term for each of these ones. So if we know what day it is, we can work out how many gifts. So, and there's a formula for that. So I'm gonna do a new share and go to the, white, the whiteboard because I don't wanna mess up that beautiful picture. So on any, it's actually, Strangely enough, it's actually a quadratic sequence. On any given day, a lucky recipient will receive n over 2 times n plus 1 gifts. So I suppose on day 1, if you put 1 into that, you get a, um, a half, and then 2 times a half is 1. Um, on day 8... So one is a good number because that is a, tri uh, a square triangular number. I won't put it in because it, okay. But if we had day eight. Can I just say that my writing on here is appalling, but it has improved. 
day eight, we'll get eight over two. And in fact, if people want to work out the data, uh, how many gifts in total, you can do it like this. I believe there's a full and uh, add up each day. I believe there's also a formula for the, um, the whole the whole shebang, as it were. Mm -hmm. So on day eight, twos into eight go four times, and you get thirty six gifts. Okay. I don't know where you're going to put all these gifts. It's a, it's a bit like the problem we have at the moment. I don't know how much stuff you're ordering online. You know, where do you put all this stuff? <laughs> Still got boxes. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, trying to, uh, trying to remember what was in it. So um, if we look at, um, and I have, I confess I have got a crib sheet here. Because, so if we look on day one, we'll have one times two over two, mm -hmm. and that is equal to, so I'm going to put D1. So that is one squared times one squared. Mm -hmm. So uh, one condition is that this here has to be two squared numbers times together. Yeah. And on day eight, we have um, eight, as I said before, eight times nine, eight is double a square number, which is, so that's the sequencing. And then you have two squared times three squared. Now there is a pattern to this. Do you want me to leave it? I can do the next one for you if you like. Um, no, I, I think, let me see. I think, uh, sorry, you mean the, the next? There is a pattern. You can yeah. predict when the next one will be. Okay. Um, but doing maths on the spot is never easy, so I don't. Well, I, um, let me see. Can you where it's? Uh, three, four, three, five, would that work? Four, three. No, that was, I, I suppose it would be the, you know, um, I know that, <laughs> okay. I, I think uh, day 49 fits. Oh, gosh. Is there something before that? No, I'm just, you know, was that divine revelation? <laughs> okay, uh, so I, I've changed color actually, perhaps I shouldn't, I'll go, yeah. So I'll do the color thing here. Right, so do you want to write, day, shall I write day 40? So day 49 fits, did you do that in your head? Um, well, I was just thinking about other numbers and sort of 49. I was just looking at the squares, various squares. And, okay. Yeah. So would you like to give your reasoning for that? Um, so day 49 is whatever, 49 times 50 over 2, um, which is... So which will end up being seven squared times five squared. Okay, I'm going to put it in the other yeah. order. Yeah. It is an interesting thing, though, isn't it? Or is it just me? No, it's a, yeah. It actually does answer one. Well. <laughs> so how did you get to day 49 was did had you looked at the paper or um i mean i had looked at a couple of pages but also i was just thinking of square numbers generally and um because one of the 
two has to be a square, isn't it? Um, yeah, one of the two has to be a square and the other one has to be Uh, if the two is going to cancel out, then it has, well, yeah, it has to be double of a square, I guess. Yes. That's, that is exact. Yeah, that has to be exactly it. So I put those two like this. Hmm. Okay. And I'm going, actually, I'm going to, um, if I do, And then I'll do this to the other one, and then this to the, okay. I don't know if that makes it. Mm -hmm. So could you, you, looking at the, it's sort of like, do you like Fibonacci? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 <laughs> well, you don't have to like him, you know, the series. No, 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 I, I, mean, I like the series, yeah. Yeah. Um, so do you think you could see where the next one is coming from? So at day 49, do you think that we're gonna we're gonna extend Christmas to I don't I, I can't see it happening to have 49 days of Christmas just to get a square no, triangular number in. Um, no, that's uh, like you know the feasts that are 40, 50 days, you know, seven weeks. Okay. Oh yes, of course. Yes, we could have the seven weeks of Christmas. Okay, so now all right, this is uh, one, one, two, three, five. Oh, um, so the next well, we get involved in eight. Um, sixty-four, sixty-five. No, sixty-three, sixty-four. No. Um, wait, I mean, that's one, one, two, three is five, is the first five numbers of the Fibonacci. Yeah, so if, yeah, so, and Fibonacci, uh, it's the previous numbers, the two previous ones in the Fibonacci sequence give the set consecutive one, don't they? Mm -hmm. So it goes one, one, two, Three. Yeah. So if, if you were adding up previous squares or something. Mm -hmm. yeah. And then, yeah, one, one, one plus one, then two, one plus two, three, two plus three, five, three plus five, eight. And okay, but looking at this one, yeah, uh, is there something here? Um, well, I suppose the well, one of the, the small, maybe the smaller of the two numbers is the sum of the two previous ones. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So what would that take us to? So the next one sh should be 12. Okay. So uh, 12 squared. Yeah. And then the problem is, what is the number next to it? Yeah. If, if you look at this, the odd number, oh, can I just, oh, it does work. Okay. Um, if you look at this, the odd numbers tend to feed, uh, will feed into the, the, can I just get, yeah. The odd numbers will feed into this one here. 
the odd square feeds into the second number mm. of the sequence, whereas when it's an even square, it fit it maps onto mm -hmm. the first number in in the formula, let's say. So 12 times. I mean, I think that's food for thought for people. Yeah. So as, as to recap, one of the numbers is a square yeah. and the other one has to be twice a square. Yeah. 12 squared is not twice. Well, um, so 144 would be one. Okay. So it's got to be about 143 is not one, four, sorry, 145. Well, the only one that can be twice a square you know, there is, is actually 144 itself. No, that doesn't make sense. Yeah, well, so. So 144, double that. Oh, yeah. OK. Oh, that's the, the smaller one. All right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. 288, which gives you 289, which is a square, isn't it? It is. Is it? 17 squared? You can use it. You can use a calculator. You can phone a friend or use a calculator. Let me see. 289, is that, uh, that's 17 squared, isn't it? Yeah. Gosh, I used to be able to do this in my head. <laughs> <laughs> 17 squared, yes, is 289. Okay, so 288 and 280. Oh, okay, so day 288. All right. I should put up. Yeah, okay. I hope we haven't spoiled it for anybody. It's a bit like an Agatha Christie, isn't it? You don't, how much do you say? And um, so equals. Twelve squared times seventeen squared. Actually, I do like numbers like seventeen squared because they look like they're prime numbers. Yeah. You know that <laughs> they're not. That's a two there. Okay. Yeah. Okay. I think that's. Um, I think we'll lead people to discover the others. Yeah. Do you think there is something? Uh, godly in this well there's um i think numbers what what is it who is it who said uh, that uh, mathematics is the language with which god creates the universe i think it might have been galileo actually <laughs> well you've said it now okay okay i'll stop the share now thank you ever so much for that no, thank you. That was that was fascinating. I have to go and figure out why why it is that 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 sequence works. Well, maybe that's what the paper. <laughs> yes, that, I think it's. I have looked for other papers, but that one is done particularly nicely. Thank you ever so much. Thank you, Annette. And uh, 